Welcome to Men's Talk. This is Monday night, and as men together, we talk about real issues and hopefully encourage you as well. We have Shane and Neil with us, and we're just going to begin with a simple question. It is the fall season. What are some things that you are looking forward to do or already have done? I love decorating for Christmas. Um, it's always a thing in our house, like one kid usually goes with Jenny, one kid goes with me, and she does the inside decorating, I do the outside. And this year we're gonna be decorating a new house. So it's got new ways of like arranging things versus the previous house where we were there for like five years. So it's like, oh, we kind of did the same old thing. You know, this goes here, this goes there. You know, now it's like, ooh, it's kind of exciting. Where am I gonna put this? Where am I gonna put that? Uh, things I look forward to doing, um, you know, um, it's gonna be Halloween soon. So carving pumpkins, watching football, um, pumpkin pie, um, I enjoy, I'm going to enjoy seeing the kids in their Halloween costumes and, uh, and I love putting up the Christmas tree too. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun that, uh, you know, all the lights and everything going, driving and seeing other lights and, uh, you know, just family and, uh, and food awesome. <laughs> and friends. God, what are some things that God has blessed you and your family with? Well, I've been, um, studying patience and uh because that's the first thing in uh in love is patience and kindness and i found um you know that i'm a man of faith and with faith i have the patience and uh because god's plan is uh is better than my own plan and it always is and every time i try to stray and try to do my own thing without you know god running the show i um, you know, those, those things never work out anyway. So I've learned to be more patient and being patient has brought peace to my soul and having, you know, God in my heart and uh, having the faith to know that he's in control has really brought me a lot of, um, you know, just joy and peace. And, uh, and that has blessed me and has blessed my family. And, uh, it feels really good to, just let God be in control, and I'm just in the you know passenger seat, and uh, it doesn't really matter where we go as long as we, um, you know, are are doing it together as a family and uh, you know family of God and Christ. You know, from the time that me and Jenny have been together through now, we've had struggles, like some pretty heavy ones from time to time, and. And each time it feels like we're just about to break, he's given us something, you know, that ray of hope. It's like, oh, you know, we're at the point where we're about to lose this, this, or this. And all of a sudden, you know, he's come through at the end to let you know, like, you're blessed, you're part of us, you're, you're I'm here for you. Like, we're, I'm never gonna break you. I'm just gonna make you bend. How do you make sure you do the right thing? Um, you know, you'll feel it in your heart if you're doing the right or the wrong thing. Um, as a youth, I was the, you know, the prodig prodigal son and uh, I made life really difficult on myself. And, uh, you know, the more I tried to, to do things and get away with them, the harder life became. And um, as a, you know, someone who's repented and been born again and uh, I don't find anything attractive about trying to, you know, get around the corners anymore. I enjoy doing the right thing because it's the right thing. You feel good about doing it. And you see other people that are are trying and they complain about everything and they just, you know, don't want to do anything. And it's like, if you just do your job, if you just do what's right, you have such a much easier life. <laughs> so um, I just, uh, I take pride in everything that I do um, with my hands. You, you see it, you feel it. And if you cut corners, you're gonna know. Like when I go to carve my pumpkins, they're gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna take my time. It's not a rush. It's gonna be and it's gonna come out good but if I just want to just rush through it cut corners it's you know it won't be as enjoyable so I find uh, enjoyment with just doing the right thing oh first time for first things first the right thing isn't always easy um, 
I work in retail. Notoriously brutal for right and wrong being a little blurred. Um, you know, corporate's idea of things and how you should do things isn't always right to what's right to a human being or right to the people underneath you. So you've got to find a way to live your life being good to people and being right in all aspects. So sometimes that means how can I use everybody in an aspect of still being right, you know, still leading with the heart, still being able to take care of people, but still being a member of leadership in corporate. Like it's, it's extremely difficult balance, but you know, you've got to find it. What are some ways that men like you and me bless others? You know, I, I try to have a serving heart. I have since I was young, I try to, you know, if there's a need, I try to be the one to fill the need, whether that's at work, whether that's at home, whether that's at church, I try to be that person. And it doesn't always happen. You know, nobody's perfect. Nobody gets it right 100% of the time, but I really try to be there to be that, you know, Shane's a dependable one. Shane can, Shane can help if, you know, when people are down and out. You know, um, God has blessed me with, uh, you know, just having a good heart and, and the patience and feeling good. So the people that I'm around, instead of stressing everybody out with being short fused, um, the blessing of peace makes me a peaceful person to be around. Um, the uh, When I do get a little bit of extra income or something, I look at, you know, something that, you know, the family needs. My needs are met because, you know, God provides for me the things that I need and I, my heart doesn't want, you know, the, uh, you know, things that are expensive anymore. You know, I just don't desire those things. I desire the, uh, the feeling inside more than the, the feeling of buying something expensive. And so I see something that, um, you know, that my wife's been really, really wanting and her, you know, and, and I would, uh, I would bless her with uh, with something that would just bring her joy with the blessings that I get and my children and, and friends and family. But uh, just that would be the blessing. Well, thank you for joining us. Real men, real issues, real talk. And we know that God is always in control. God loves you and so do we.